So it's a uh, Monday morning, July 4th. So if you hear some noises in the background, uh, it's just fireworks. People a little early. Uh, they were going off last <laughs> night too. But so we did the the transplant last weekend and put a bunch of the or bought a bunch of starts and put them in the the buckets and. Some of them have taken off really well. These three tomatoes down here seem to be really happy. And the ones that are back here are happy. They're a little bit more sunburned. I think they started out more sunburned, but so far they seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, when we had some rain and had some water, we noticed that the buckets were holding water. So I drilled larger holes in the bottom of it that's a mess but they seem to be draining okay we had light rains yesterday and some last night and they, they seem to be happy I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how these tomatoes are doing I'm gonna have to put some cages on them before they get too big to put cages on uh, the peppers they don't seem to be as happy but they don't seem to be unhappy either they seem to be just kind of maybe a little shocked at being moved. Not sure what's going on with them. I, uh, yesterday the, the peony got replanted. I finally moved it out of that bucket and put it in the front yard. Pulled out an old boxwood tree that uh, the wasps had decided looked like a good place for them to grow or to make a home. And they were growing their hive inside it. So it was time to get, get that out of there. When uh, I took the bucket off, the the dirt smelled really bad, really bad. Uh, and that was dirt that it was originally growing in. It's dirt from where we pulled the thing up. Uh, I hope that's not what's going on in the bottom of all these buckets, because that, that bucket had four pretty good sized holes in the bottom of it. I thought it was draining pretty well, but it sure smelled awful. Uh, I think it's gonna be happy in its new home. I left all the dirt with the bucket. I just kind of cut the bottom off it, cut a sli slice down the bottom and set the whole bucket in there, filled it in and then pulled the bucket off of it. So it's kind of still in <laughs> the bucket dirt, uh, but it's in the ground in a nice hole. And I really hope that uh, that plant survives. Not a lot of change going on here in the garden uh, other than you know, these, these tomatoes seem to be fairly happy and I hope they stay happy, but I thought a, an update would be awesome or would be good. I don't know if it's awesome or not. Uh, I'm really hoping we, we get some nice weather in the next couple uh, days or weeks. We're expecting like 10 days without rain. So that should have it grow. My irrigation system, yeah, I'm not real happy with it. Uh, it did manage to fill the buckets up and it's just not quite coming together. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with that a little bit more, but in the interim, I'll just use the tried and true uh, watering can to do it. There's something that's kind of eating the uh, peppers. So I've given them a, a dose of neem oil to see if I can knock that down. Uh, the blueberries are doing wonderful. Uh, I've got a ton of blueberries coming in and uh, that's about it. The peonies are all gone, you know, all the blooms have, have completed and uh, we're just down to, to gardening this and, and hopefully trying to make some food. Uh, we bought some melons, we're, we're trying to get into the summer spirit of things. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching.